Climate tokens and the never-ending squeeze. Carbon prices have been on a tear this year. In the wake of COP26, carbon prices have skyrocketed, capping off what has already proven to be a record-setting year for the carbon markets. With prices having more than doubled since the beginning of the year, the carbon markets show no sign of stopping. COP26 drew lots of attention to the carbon markets, especially with the developments regarding Article 6. But Article 6 wasn't the only catalyst. After all, prices were already trending upwards even before the UN Climate Conference in Glasgow started. One of the other forces helping drive up the demand in carbon credits came from a different buzzword entirely. Crypto. Disruptive finance. Blockchain finally going green. Earlier this October, the Klima DAO protocol, a form of tokenized carbon offset, hit the markets. As a tradable token, Klima DAO is backed by actual verified carbon offsets. By their own protocol, each Klima token represents at least one ton of carbon offset already held in the Klima DAO treasury. In other words, to issue tokens, Klima DAO needed to buy up lots of carbon offsets. And they proceeded to do just that. Klima DAO purchased just under 12 million tons of verified carbon offsets purchased from the Vera registry in a month and a half since their initial launch. Depending on the mix of credits and how the mark-to-market valuations are accounted for, the total value of Klima DAO's offset purchases may exceed $100 million. That's a decent chunk of money, given that the total tracked value of transactions in the voluntary carbon markets last year was just under $500 million. Everybody wants a slice of the green pie. Of course, Klima Dow alone doesn't explain the whole story of the strong rise in carbon prices either. After all, the protocol only launched on October 18th, just before COP26. And if you look at the transaction volume in the voluntary carbon markets this year, you can see that the prices are rising by a lot year over year. And the transactions are rising a lot year over year. That's a chart here. Now I want you to pay attention to the green bar chart. That's the claim of Dow purchases versus the total traded volume in 2021. Look, Klima Dow's holdings look impressive on paper, but you must keep in mind Klima's DAO's purchases represent about 4% of the total transacted volume on the voluntary carbon markets in 2021 to date. So far this year, transaction volume in the voluntary markets is up nearly 60% compared to last year. The reason why I brought up Klima DAO is because they too belong to a new sector driving demand in the carbon markets, which is carbon investors and speculators. Take a look at the pie chart we put together that shows the carbon credit purchases by industry as of the end of October 2021. The blue pie there you can see is energy, the finance is red, retail is 16, transportation is green. We kind of break it up, industrial is gold. Currently, the three biggest components are the industrial, finance, and energy sectors. Industrial and energy carbon credit users are very easy to understand. After all, in industries like steel making are heavy emitters as are fossil fuel power plants. But the large share held by finance industry is for a different reason altogether. Banks like HSBC and Barclays aren't exactly companies you would imagine to be big polluters. Financial companies aren't only buying these credits to retire for themselves, but also are purchasing them as investment assets. Expect the financial industry's share of carbon credit purchases to grow even larger. Article 6 will help in the standardization of the carbon markets, which is required. Besides the financial industry, you also have plenty of other players looking to carve out their own portion of the prize. Klima Dow would be one such example. But they're just the tip of the iceberg. And if this is what is needed to put the fire to the ass of the polluters and start decarbonizing as the price of pollution goes up, so be it. Bring more on. Plenty of businesses and retail investors are now also looking to the carbon markets for investment that are both rewarding as well as ESG friendly. No longer the best kept investment secret. You can think of the recent jump in carbon prices as the first leg of the carbon credit bull market. Think of it like Bitcoin back in late 2016. 
right now the general public have just gotten their first whiff of this new investment trend. But to be perfectly honest, it's still in its infancy. Our contacts and what we're seeing in the voluntary carbon market is showing nothing short of explosive month over month and year over year growth. With Article 6 working its final details and standards, we've just started the first inning for a fully standardized global carbon market. It will take many months, if not years, for the voluntary carbon markets to fully develop the framework and systems needed to facilitate regulated trading worldwide. But that's okay, because it means there's still plenty of time to get in before the markets really take off. There is already a fundamental, proven demand for carbon credits, driven by legislation backed by nearly every country in the world. Universal consensus from governments to academics, elites, top public and private companies are coming out saying that the market needs to grow bigger. And it will. If we're to have a snowball's chance in hell of meeting the climate targets that have been set, this market needs to grow bigger. My subscribers and I have already found the perfect investment to bet on the coming surge in interest and money in the carbon markets. Look, it's one of my largest holdings and one of my best performers and I'm looking to add much, much more. Many subscribers have already made as much as 450% gains, and many have tripled their money in just the last few months. But there's still plenty of room for this company and sector to grow, and plenty of time to lock in a position. If you wanna get the best opportunities in commodities, energy, and carbon sectors, consider signing up for my premium newsletter service, Katusa's Resource Opportunities. Every month, I'll share with you exactly how I plan to put my money to work to make the best of this once-in-a-lifetime investment opportunity in the carbon markets. Stay safe. Subscribe to the KRO, which is a Katusa Resource Opportunities, to find out exactly what prices I'm buying at and what price I sell at before the trade occurs. And you get to sell before I do. If you want to give your portfolio an edge, consider becoming a member and giving it a try for yourself.